Ever get the feeling that your brain is wearing out your face? Draining the blood and then you're out of place. A bloodshot stare, strung out on a word that isn't there. I never do short ones. This one is um, in honor of the fact that San Francisco has the highest rate of pedestrian uh, mortality. Suicide, mostly. Uh, well, I don't know. I think it's partly the driver's uh, fault. You know, they just like to run over people who are walking around. It's death by innocent motors. So we do have the highest rate of casualties for pedestrians, and I'm one of them. Um, but you're alive. still walking. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, I was once on Hyde and um, Bush, something like that, about one or two in the morning, and I had the green light. I started across the uh, crosswalk, and all of a sudden, a car ran over my foot, and I'm over the hood, like leaning over the hood. And this son of a bitch was like, uh, he was drunk. And I said, you know, look, something wrong with this? And he, he shrugged, and he, he admitted he was at fault. I had to pull my foot out from under his tire. That's the kind of town we live in. So in honor of that, it's called Exposure in the Intersection. When they block the crosswalk as you're walking up, a good response is to expose yourself. <laughs> it is disturbing the repose of those divine appointed beings on their rubber tires, and it is a means of being seen, and it is necessary when you are on foot, a simian among machines, and there's a prince, if not a princess, of the road, secure in the domination of vicarious mass production where the fantasy of status is necessitating tunnel vision and a man on foot is a reminder of a low-down humanism they are fleeing from with four-wheel drive and power steering. They are staring straight ahead. A mere pedestrian beneath them as occurs when they are running over someone. Your survival could depend on getting their attention. All the better if you have a night reflector on your organ of reproduction and it glitters in a way that is attractive to the nouveau riche. Your life is in your hands when you are walking on the avenue of bitches in oblivion. I saw one backing up around a corner while she's talking on a car phone and ignoring the formality of crosswalk lines and nearly cut me off at the knees. I don't know if the sudden sight of someone who is naked is considered punishment. For some it might be a reward, and others would consider it an insult or a threat, as if a naked man could wrestle with a pickup truck. At any rate, the paramedics are removing someone's clothing when they put them on a stretcher, having been run over by a knee-jerk driver, and I'm feeling naked in these confrontations with a ton of metal. Is it impolite for someone to be mooning the oppressor? With your bottom pressing on the window, you're impressing on them that you are alive and present, and you're willing to be putting this encounter on the street behind you if you are allowed to walk away, and that's the bottom line. <laughs>